first and foremost, uh, working with him, uh, he was awesome, you know, because he had changed the, the, the way you thought about training. He had made it so interesting and exciting that you couldn't get up quick enough in the morning to get to the training ground. He introduced the ball and everything about the football sense of it. He was, he was the start of something that's went right through British football as well as Scottish football. Very much so. As I said to you earlier, he was very special. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and he was humble at times. And never at any, any time ever really knocked someone down. He was always, he, he always pulled you aside and, and he explained what he was doing and such like. He, he was a gentleman, but you couldn't mess about with him. He was just a football man, a football genius. I was uh, disappointed, surprised, because I, I, I always put him as a guy that wanted to be a winner. Mm. And, and if he'd have came to Celtic, he'd, he would have he would have been in the position to feel again. He was a winner uh, when he was a player, mm. but on the other side, the manager hasn't been that successful. But I think he would have got all his wishes coming to Celtic Football Club with the support and the passion and the encouragement they give. He could have been something special as their manager. Either that or second in charge. Mm -hmm. I, I, I have a look at the list of uh, managers, and each and every one of them's got a good track record. But uh, this is a very special club, and uh, whether they're capable of coming right into this, I, I, I don't know. I don't know them individually or, or, or collectively. They need a strong person that's going to stand up and be counted. Because I'll tell you this much, this support deserves the best.